Howdy y'all! Ghetto Gaming 2020, come back at you with another episode of Banjo and Kazooie. Now you might be asking yourself, what are we doing back in this game? Didn't we already finish it? But to that I, to that I say yes, my friends. Uh, we have certainly finished this game. I will not lie. So then, why am I here then? Simple, simple friend. We are here for a bonus episode. Those of you who played this game know what's up. Because if we go to view totals, if we can actually go back to tabs. Or maybe it's forward a bunch of tabs. Any minute now. There we go. We get to stop and swap. This is the goal of today's episode is to collect every one of these. So, I guess let's just get right into it, shall we? There's also something else I want to talk about. But that's beside the point. So, first things first, we're going to go for the pink egg. Which is located in Treasure Trove Cove. I referred to this at the end of the last episode, but in order to get all these legit in this game is on the Xbox version anyway is to just have a save file for nuts and bolts so I went and did that and now we can actually collect these I will tell you a way to get these if you don't if you're not playing the Xbox version for example if you're playing the Switch I can explain that too Hold on, my cat is stalking the cords. Let me move him. I don't want him attacking the cords for no reason. There we go. Now you might be asking yourself, where is that? Where is that darn egg? Very simple. If we did, if we just do what Mumbo told us to do at the end of the last episode during our bonus content, we can see this little cave has risen up. From the sea floor. Shark food island or was it shark bait? I don't know. Shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. No. These buns are not for sale. And now when we go in here, a great fanfare starts to play. So let's go ahead and get these. I like how they failed in the cutscene to show this off. All you gotta do is just loop this a bunch of times. Now to be fair, it is quite repetitive getting up to this one. I don't know why they did this, but... Oh well. Sometimes the slow build up is worth it. Here we are. We made it to the top. And now we get to peace. Feast your eyes on this wonderful egg. Now let's collect it and see what's up. Ooh, an egg. That's one of the seven stop and swap items we've been looking for. I reckon it'll unlock something special in my nuts and bolts adventure. Can't wait. Uh, if you were to ask me, it's not that special, but it is pretty neat. Now, on to the next egg. Next level that contains stuff for us is actually a freeze easy peek. We're going to skip over Clinker's Cavern and. And, uh. Bubble Group Swamp. Miss the warp pad. Go me. Ooh. Let's just make our way up to Freeze Easy Peak, I suppose. I'm contemplating on what's actually faster to get to. Actually, hang on, never mind. We're not. Let's skip Freezy Peak for a minute. 
Oh. B, leave the cords alone. Go. Go play, buddy. This cat sometimes, I swear, man. And eh, never mind, let's just get a frizzy pig. We're already here. I don't wanna be called a liar. Alrighty, here we are in Freeze Easy Pick. We are here to obtain the next stop and swap item. I know I could have cut the traversal in the layer out, but oh well. Now if you'll remember, there's something special in Wars' cave that I said, well, it's like we're not going to talk about that till later. Well now let's talk about that. Because it's really... Uh, we're not going to read that again. And here we are. In the special ice key room. B is messing with everything like he always does. Sorry if you hear him. Gaze at his glory. I like how this room looks actually. It's pretty nice looking. It's got like mad Donkey Kong 64 vibes. Come here, buddy. Or oh, don't. Okay. Well, anyway, enough to all of them. Let's get the key. Cool. What an enormous ice key. We should keep this stop the swap item for later. Yes. And yes, we should. I will meet you guys in Gubby's Valley. Near where the stop and swap item is. I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, guys. Here we are in Gubby's Valley. Pretty much where we want to go here is literally up in this little covet over here where we got one of the honeycombs from Gobi. Right here. There was a door here initially blocking us off. And now we can enter with pride. So let's go ahead and get this egg. A nice blue one. Wow, another one of these special stop and swap eggs. Hope this isn't a cruel joke and we can actually use them this time. Did you just roast yourself, Rare? <laughs> I think they just roasted themselves. I'll meet you guys at the next, uh, the next, at the next area. Next stop, Mad Monster Mansion. This level actually has two eggs, surprisingly. One of them being in the cellar. And the other one is kind of weird, if you ask me. I don't know why they decided to put it in there. I will, I'll, you'll see. I don't want to spoil, it's kind of funny. Sorry for humor cat in the background, he's going psycho. He's attacking everything. And then here we have another one of my favorite rooms in the game. It's a simple one, but I like this room. Here buddy. Let's get a good, nice, good close-up of this egg, like Sue, and now let's see what they have to say. No comment? Makes me sad. Who will? Moving on. The second egg for this level 
is actually on the second floor of this mansion. I don't remember what room it is specifically, like what window. Well, there, that answers that. Hold on. Alrighty. There is the green egg. Oh, hold on, I almost collected it. That was almost a bad, bad. Actually, I'm gonna take care of this enemy so we can get our close up shot. Oh, yeah, that's how you kill them, by the way. Just like the mommies in the uh, Gobi's Valley. Ah, yes, isn't that the beautiful sight on top of Lago the Toilet? And of course, this egg is in the most perfect location in the whole game. In the bathroom. <laughs> nice. This is the best egg because it is in the bathroom. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for Mad Monster Mansion. The next egg is in Rusty Bucket Bay, I believe, so I'll meet you there. Alrighty, here we are in the bay. This time we are looking for... We are looking for... The captain's cabin. I'm actually not 100% certain on where it is. All I know is that it's one of these windows. Not this one. So it could take a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't take too long though. Just commit vandalism every time you see a, win see a window that's smashable. But there's only like three windows you can actually enter so it shouldn't take too too long like here's another one right here let's see if this one's it nope watch out for Chad there he wants to invite you to his party there goes his bee running off again he does hold on Alrighty, we're back. This must be it, right? Sure is. I can't stop this cat, man. He's all over the place. I'm trying to get him to be quiet, but he's running all over the place. What am I supposed to do? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's get our nice close-up shot. Oh, man, that's really close-up. Let's see if we can get the whole thing frame. Boom. What the nice, the nice egg. Uh, not pause. Let's collect. Woo! Another eggy for the collection. And now for the last, for the final egg. It is actually located in. Click Clock Wood, believe it or not. Chad almost got me. He really wants to invite people to those parties, man. Alright, I'll, I'll meet you. I almost said, I'll guys meet you there. I'll meet you. Yeah, I'll meet you there. Alright, Click Clock Wood. Alrighty, here we are in Click Like Wood. Our objective is to find the final egg, which, if I remember correctly, it is in here in winter. I'm gonna go to a flight pad, which is conveniently located right over here. Ignore Ice Cube Fred. Hello. I didn't even know you were there. Well, I didn't. I didn't pick it up. Oh well. Now we're gonna fly up towards Nebnut's house. Mm. 
Ooh, you almost got me. He almost sniped me. Now all we gotta do is land. Let's do some B and E. Yep. Mm. Acorns. Final egg. The yellow one. What a nice view. Hey, Banjo! We found all the stop and swap items. Time to ditch the checklist and stash them away for use in Banjo Kazooie. Nuts and bolts. Yep. The stop and swap eggs in this game don't actually do anything. I'm gonna get out a winner. I'm actually gonna meet you guys at somewhere special. Because we haven't been there since pretty much the beginning of the game. So let's head on back. Meet you there. And we're back. Welcome back to Spiral Mountain. We have not actually been here since the beginning of the game. Because every time you start up the game, it puts you in the entrance to Grunty's lair. Technically, we were here in a cutscene, but that doesn't really count if you ask me. But as of right now, we are actually going to head back, all the way back to really where the game started. Into Banjo's house. Because there is something we can do in here that, technically we could have done this at the very beginning of the game. I don't know how early you can do this exactly, but what you gotta do is just look into Bottle's picture. You know, maybe if you look at the right angle. There we go. Whoa! You found my secret to moving picture game. Complete this puzzle and you can win a mystery prize. It better be good, Soil Brain. Do I get some new moves? Er, maybe. Now watch this. What, you thought we were done with puzzles? With puzzle pieces? Alright, let's just explain controls. Yep, this game actually adds in a puzzle thing that you could do. These pieces aren't very well scattered if you ask me. Of course I say that as I miss. I'm always the kind of guy who goes for the, um, uh, the actual pieces first. Like the edge pieces. I feel once you get the edges, you can actually figure out the rest of it. Alrighty. Come on, go in. There we go. That one goes right there. One over. As you can see, the timer is not very tight on these. At least not this one, anyway. Hey, you did it! It was easy, Beetle Breath. What do we win? Listen carefully, and I'll tell you. Use the tiles on the floor of the Sand Castle and Turf Stove Cove to spell the word Bottles Bonus Wood. Yep. You can also try level 2 of my game if you like. Just look at the picture again. Well. I would if it would trigger it. Oh, there it goes. Now we're back to Freezy Speak. Uh, can I place a piece where I want it to go? Thank you. It actually shuffled up the pieces this time. So now you have to actually find the right spots. Come on. Grab it. Thank you. I meant down. There you go. That one goes there. I was not hovering over there. That was bull. Whatever. That goes there. Womp. Pick it up. There we go. That's gotta go there. That's there.
And that's another one completed. Yuppie, that's it. Now we're going to word bottles bonus two on the same castle floor. Why not try level three now? Okay. And now they shuffle up the pieces. So now you don't know where everything is. You can actually rotate them just by hitting the right stick right or the left. Bruh, I hail married that, like, hardball. There we go, there goes... Maybe down one? I said down, not diagonal. Right there, right there. That one's gotta go there. That goes there. As you see, these get mildly more and more difficult as you move on. There we go. Bottles bonus three. I do believe you have to actually do these in order to actually get them. Go on, give level four a go. There we go. Now we're in Nabnit's house. Hmm. That one actually just raised that up. Kind of hard to tell where these pieces go if you got the. Uh, a thingy majig upside down. It goes there. There we go. It's hard to tell with some of these because the picture is kind of dark. At least on the edges of it. No, uh, that has to go there, yep. Yep. There. Hail Mary, that one. And last one. Easy, huh? Now you can go and see what the word bonus bonus for does. Hey! Level 5 is available now, blah blah blah. Uh, that was my bad for accidentally skipping that. Come on, there we go. Down, there we go. It's there. There. Mm -hmm. Put that in there. Sorry if I'm not very talkative during this, so I kind of got to focus at least a little bit. So we don't, you know, fail. There we go. Core of the burst. Good try, bottle bonus five. Just one more level left, guys. I said just one more level left. I got that right. Yeah, that okay. Down there, that's the corner piece. It's 
Got peace. What is it, a side piece? Yep. Down one. There we go. Some of these is hard to tell. Goes there, 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 and final piece. Boom. Well, I didn't think anyone would do that one. Well, then, here's your last prize it's a big bottles bonus. Er, I've got no more games left for you to play now. Don't listen to him, he's a liar. Ha! Fooled you! I got one really special prize left. Let's see you do let's see you do this one, Featherface. I'm ready, goggles. Here we go. Welcome back to the nest of the Zuppas. This one actually is kind of hard because everything looks the same. That's down one. Good. There we go. This this is almost always the corner piece, to my knowledge. I, Right. I'm not over. There we go. Oh no! I did. I was not paying attention to the clock at all. Ooh! If we can beat this, it's gonna be clutch. Come on! Come on! Five seconds to spare. Jigsaw Maker. Hey, you must have cheated to do that. No way, Bug Slurper. Hand over the special prize. Oh, very well. Enter the code Wishy Washy Banjo for some good, clean fun. I do believe that is actually everything this time. Here's a reminder my secret codes. Bottles will spoil my bottles. Yeah, you okay. Oh, they, oh, he's telling you what you gotta hit. So yeah, that was pretty fun. Now you might think, is this the end of the bonus episode? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you come back here after you beat Grunty, you can totally see the boulder move and all that stuff. Oh well. Alright, now let's head back into Treasure Trove Cove. Oh, sorry, sorry guys, I meant to say Big Booty Cove. So let's head on over to Big Booty Cove. I'll meet you there. See you in a bit. And we're back. Here we are inside the Treasure Inside the sandcastle treasure room. If I can get that out of the way. And now let's put in all those codes that we just received from bottles. To make this quick, guys, I'm just going to cut ahead to pretty much the last letter. Because I don't want... Okay, I'll type the first one, but you'll get the idea. I'm just going to cut to the last one. For most of these. Just because these take a while to fill in. There it is. Bottles. 
Alrighty. Ha ha ha! Look at you! If you change it back, just type no bonus. We have we have officially achieved big brain mode. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna keep I'm gonna show off the next couple. I missed. Okay, never mind, I have to leave. Okay, every time you complete one of these, you, you have to reset the room, so just leave and come back in. I can't take this body <laughs> type of series. <laughs> now, now we have big mythic walls. And also big feet. I truly am a monkey man. I don't know if I could actually play it this seriously. This is so stupid. <laughs> ah, yes. Bottles bonus three. Nothing looks out of the normal until you see Kazooie. Big Kazooie head mode. This looks so wrong. Why are your feet so tiny? But your head is and body are so huge. Oh lord, what has happened? Why am I a hot dog? Dude, hang on. Can I get can I get a sideways view of this? Hang on. I need a I need a different camera angle. Dude! I don't even hold on let's get on flat ground. I don't even touch the ground. That's so weird. I am a hot dog. Bottles bonus four. If you want to be a hot dog now, now let's put in number. I almost put the wrong one in. Let's put in number five. And now we are hot dog mode, but better. Still tiny Kazooie, but now we got the meaty, big meaty claws. This is so weird looking. Probably my favorite one so far. But hang on, when I do a roll, do I even actually do the full roll? Yeah, but my body, my head goes through the ground. That's so weird. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for Bottles Brick Bonus. Is it Big Bottles Bonus? Hold on, let me look at my list. Yes, I have these wrote down. Call me a nerd. I took notes. It is big. Bottle's big bonus. Um, I kind of lost track what letter I was on, so let's just restart this one. There we go. Apparently, either the wiki is wrong or I wrote it wrong. Either way, it is Bottle's big bonus. Why am I wavy? You see my feet just clutching into the ground. <laughs> this one pretty much activates all the cheats, but it kind of doesn't look right. Like, I think the big head, the big arms and stuff, like, mostly the big head counteracts the uh, whole hot dogginess. So, that's kind of a rip. I like the hot I like the long hot dog with the big arms. That's the funny one. That's the one I like. But oh well. Now it's time for the best transformation in the game. Wishy washy banjo.
Oxi. Washi. Wash it, wash it, banjo. Hey, that much bad magic. Wash it, not as good as bear. Don't come bowing to mumbo if you can't get, get through all worlds. Yes, we are literally a washing machine. This is this is actually, believe it or not, this is a gag transformation that can actually occur in, in a normal game. It is a low chance occurrence, but it can happen. So yeah, that's interesting. I like how when I crouch, I literally just become an actual washing machine, except when I'm w walking around, it just looks so weird. Now you might be thinking, well, we're done, right? So that I say, wrong. Now then, for those of you who somehow watched this far and are playing the 64 version, I will pretty much just flash a note on the screen on what you gotta do to get like all the cheat codes you need to put in to get the um uh, to get these stop and swap eggs. Because if you try putting those codes in on this version of the game, it will pretty much. If you put in more than three cheat codes, the game literally will erase your file. I'm not joking on that. It is actually a fact. It is so bad. So that's... So here you go. Here's your list. Actually, you know what? I'm going to read it off. I was going to do a little fancy thing with the animation, but this is more fun. Alright, to get the ice key you need to put in, now you can see a nice ice key, which you can have for free. That is obviously how you get the ice key. To get the pink egg you need to put in, out of the sea it rises to reveal more secret prizes. Pretty nice. Alright, to get the blue egg. A desert door opens wide. Ancient prizes. No, no, no. Hang on. Alright, to get the blue egg. Yeah, to get the blue egg. A desert door opens wide. Ancient secrets wait inside. That's the blue one from Gobi's Valley. Now, okay, let's get the next one for the, for the cyan egg. Don't you go and tell her about the secret in her cellar. That's how you get that one. The next one is amidst the haunted gloom, a secret in the bathroom. All right, the next one is this. Uh, okay, the next one is the red egg. This secret you'll be grabbing in the captain's cabin. That's how you get the red one. And now for the final one, the yellow one. Now Banjo will will be able to see it on Nabnut's table. These codes are really long, that's why I'm not putting them in. But yes, that is something you can do if you want these eggs on the 64 version. Even though they don't do anything on any other version but the Xbox version. Which is why I play, this is one reason why I'm playing the Xbox version over the 64 or the Switch. And with that, guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up here.
thank you guys so much for watching this whole LP. This project is a lot of fun to, to play and record. I'm always down to play this game. I, I usually look for excuses to play it a lot of the time. But yeah. That's pretty much all there is to show. To my knowledge. I do believe... I think there is one thing I have not shown yet, guys. And that is the game over screen. So I'll probably just leave with that. So, yeah. I could have segued that better, but it will. Alrighty, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want. I'm a Taylor Gaming 2020. Don't forget to ring the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next LP. Peace. Oh, I'm up, 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 I